Hello, Gemini, my soul tribe. This is going to be a reading for mid-August 2020, Gemini. And I want to show you something. This is from my tarot deck, the Enchanted Tarot. I want you to look at this. It represents the number six. Okay, Gemini, you are the number six. You are the number of movement, okay? Number six, bringing in harmony here, okay? But take a good look, because I want to show you what came through for the number six. Do you see the daydreaming here of the love to come? This is the Kenny Loggins featuring Patty Austin. Listen to pure imagination. Come with me in a world filled with your imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin. Traveling in a world of my creation. What you see will decide. Explanation. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it. Do you want to change the world? There is nothing to it. So yeah, a big message. And the message here is Gemini, it's time to make a major decision will be coming towards you. Keep this thought of your imagining the lovers, okay? Whatever you're creating here, but this is a soul connection that you are, are not with and you're imagining dancing with this person in the heavens. You're connected to the ethers, you're the element of air. Somewhere out there where dreams come true You'll be free to be your authentic self. Then we'll be together. Because six is the lovers, and this is clearly tell us, is if we want to be on that throne, we have to be in our authentic, true selves, is what I'm hearing. It's time to let your light shine. On August the 17th, there's going to be a supreme cosmos is going to be lined up Sun Mercury. This is in regards to that new business. So this is also regarding that new business, Gemini, because I pre-shuffled and I cleansed the cards. And there we are, my loves. We are working on ourselves. We're working on a business. This is coming to our authenticity with the number eight is the number of the strength card. Infinite abundance, Gemini. That's right, infinite abundance. It could be that Gemini's you're working on a project that not yet everybody knows of. And there's going to be a time now where the visions that you dreamt of, the dreams, that's all coming to fruition with Venus. Venus is in Gemini, right now it's in Cancer. But I wanted to show you that card because it came in loud and clear. So I'm talking to a Gemini here who is wanting a higher level of love. And in this season that we're in right now, a higher level of power is coming, a higher level of love, a higher level of success. We call upon the Holy Spirit. So let's see, Gemini, what comes out. There you go. That's an omen. <laughs> I don't, oof, don't like when that happens, but yeah. High Priestess, something is coming out quickly here. I'm speaking to a Gemini here who is maybe like myself. A Gemini here who has heightened psychic abilities. And trust that whatever you're working on right now, you are putting in the action required. This is picking up 
on that energy of the month Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, absolutely, Pisces. Wow. Trusting your intuition, Gemini. We are connected with the ethers. Archangel Gabriel, we ask for your guidance and assistance on this reading. This is quite mystical. So clearly, if you're here at this reading, you are a mystical Gemini as myself. You're creating a physical, spiritual business here. Mm -hmm. Something that will help the world. You're bringing in great healings, Gemini. Tell us what we need to know about Gemini right now. This is bringing in abundance. Yes. Tower card and the Hierophant Taurus. Okay, according to Vedic astrology, we have a Gemini here that has Taurus in their chart. This could be in your moon or your Venus sign, but you definitely have Taurus here. And it's like, boom, there was a, a breakup here with a commitment. Lovers, yep. This could have had to do with a connection, but it brings major change. Yeah, and it puts you in the direction, okay, of putting the work now into yourself. <laughs> there we go, Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, more of it. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We also have Scorpio here, and this is telling me that. There was a commitment here, or a relationship, a love ship, that there could have been a tower moment here, a breakup came, something unexpected came, and you turned your back now on relationships, and you're putting your work into yourself. Because the lovers, that daydreaming of that couple, we know that we have, I'm speaking as a we because I have Gemini also, and I'm a sun Gemini, but this is a collective reading. But the energy is telling us here, we are focused on ourselves now. And we are loyal, okay? This is loyalty. This is, this is being a breadwinner, taking care of a business, starting a business project here, very much so. That's going to bring in long-term finances, long-term success, recovering, okay, from that broken, Heart, that breakup, that three of swords bringing in that tower brought in this and there is a breakup here so let's see what else we have for my Geminis knowing your self worth knowing your birthright is abundance fruition is coming in yeah that's page of cups in the middle so an apology coming in, an offer coming in, a message coming in. And I see the Six of Swords. The Scorpio. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Sun. Gemini, you are moving into abundance here. This is a positive energy. The sun is shining on you here, Gemini. You're in the spotlight now. Whatever project that you worked on, this is bringing good wealth, good success, abundance of it, okay? And with the Six of Swords, you are moving out of a, a difficult time in your life. Even if this is a movement of a house, a home that had to break up, a new structure is going up because you're moving towards that new structure. You're also going through a huge transformation here, Gemini, and you're transforming here. You're leaving behind what no longer works for you. There's a new way of you even speaking here because where death comes, rebirth comes here. And I see a rebirth here. This is also known to me as Leo, but also Gemini, because Gemini, we the babies of the Zodiac. We the babies. And this is you shining, my loves. After a painful separation here, or a painful break, wherever it was, if it was structurally, if it was emotionally, I see Gemini's here 
grounding themselves. A Gemini knows that we must be our own authentic selves, vibing at a higher level so that we could bring in the law of manifestation to bring in that higher love, that higher level of commitment, that higher level of commitment with the Queen of Pentacles. She won't settle for less. She requires honesty and loyalty in her life, especially with the Hierophant being here. It's huge. To put, this is leaving old beliefs, and it just doesn't mean whether it's a religious thing, but that too could be left here because I see a whole new Gemini here. And this is also leaving behind your self-worth issues. If you felt not worthy to receive, you now are, and you're bringing in that energy here because the sun is shining on my Geminis. Thank goodness. Yes, my loves, Nine of Pentacles. This is an independent, mature Gemini here. Someone that's in touch with nature, someone that's grounding herself, someone who has earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Whether you're a female or masculine energy, I'm speaking to a Gemini here who has the energy of rising up after a breakup and understanding that what wasn't for me, God would have taken away. Universe comes in. It's like, yeah. Nope. Universe was right on time. The high priestess and the queen of wands were out and it showed us. You psychically knew this. You have choices, Gemini. All your dreams. There's lots of choices here. Hopes, dreams, yeah. And the king of pentacles is your power player couple. But I want you to see this one. Here's how he's looking at you. You have a king of pentacles strongly here in this reading. This is a power couple. These two are movie stars, okay? This is like, come and talk to me. Come and talk to me, I'm hearing. Someone wants to come and talk to you. You have choices. Yep. Could be two lovers, it could be two jobs. You have choices. You put the work in here, okay? So now you're reevaluating what means more to you. Who keeps you feeling that freedom to be at your highest self? Who has done the healing? Who's gone through the death re rebirth process? Who's transformed here? Because this is Scorpio. This is Pluto, Saturn, Venus, the Sun, aligning for you, Gemini. Totally. Was that Pisces in your life? That stagnant energy that just took forever going back and forth on? This one was the one that was lying, possibly stealing or cheating. But there was self-sabotaging energy going on here, keeping you stagnant, my loves. So the universe came in. And what did the universe say? My Geminis, your wishes are coming true. Yes, they are. Aquarius right now. Aquarius is Uranus ruled. And Uranus is right there with you, Gemini. It's an alignment that's taking place for the signs of Aries, Taurus, and uh, your sign, Gemini. So according to Vedic astrology, go and take a look at the Taurus reading because that the star was in there with Uranus. This is telling me that all your hopes and dreams are coming true. And this is also bringing you to your authentic self, your higher self here, the star card, okay? Serving humanity, definitely. Equal give and take. Now, which end were you on before? Was there third party here? Was was someone giving to, to two people here? Possibly, yes. But now it's going to be you're going to be receiving. Yeah. Someone's definitely looking in on you here. They're very curious. They see you. They're looking in on your, on your social medias, on your platforms, wherever you are. They're very, very curious about you. And they can't get their mind off of you here. Yep. Because that's what's coming around. The Wheel of the Fortune. There's Jupiter. Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn, and Sagittarius right here. The wheel's turning in your favor. And it's time to make a decision here. Yep. Someone here is regretting someone's still holding on to you gemini it's hard i know for some to let go but we know a cycle has finished here karma has given you a rebirth you've been restored 
could be up to 35 years of karma that's been cleared and restored. And it's time with the 5-5. Five, five. You got 5-5 five, five here. It's time to walk away from regret, from sorrow. There's someone here that I'm picking up on that's not your energy. But there's a need because it's still in the energy field here of making a clear choice. Whether you speak to them or not, you could put this into scripting, you could put it into writing, but do claim it what you release here because there's a releasing, there's a moving on. I see the Six of Swords with this offer that's coming in. You're like, no, our cycle is done, it's finished. Endings and beginnings. There's another offer or an offer that could be from the same energy coming back that took a very long time and there, the offer also this could be from two choices someone coming in with the sun but let's clarify someone's holding on to you Gemini from the past they're in deep regret and that cycle is a completion there could be travel here for you Gemini I see short term short term travel clarify this reading for my Gemini's. Let's see. You're coming up quite grounded energy, Gemini. I love it. Mm -hmm. You're doing positive affirmations. You're listening to medita meditative music, letting go of negative thoughts. That's how you healed over this painful separation. You already knew psychically and intuitively that a cycle was finishing out. going on with my gems. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Tell us what this tower is. Please clarify. Show us the tower. What is the tower for our Gemini's? The tower. There was someone here. Two, two. Okay, there was possibly a third party here, a choice going back and forth. So the universe came in and bring a tower, a shakeup. Because it wasn't what you were looking for, Gemini. You were looking for commitment. You weren't looking for a player energy. You wanted long-term stability and long -term a long-term commitment. That's what you're doing. you want, a higher level of love, a higher level of commitment. Speak to me, Hierophant. So, there's someone here that had to be dropped. Tell me what this Hierophant is. And that's your higher self coming through. Telling you. Wow. Death card twice. Jupiter twice. The chariot and the two of wands. That's a major change coming into you. It's going to shift your whole entire life, Gemini. There's something here that was destined, okay? With the Two of Wands, there's a relationship here coming in. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Scorpio. It could be Sag energy. But there's somebody coming quickly towards you, Gemini. And this person sees victory with you. Yes. And this energy, they could have Sag in their chart also. But this is you. You balancing out your energies. You staying grounded. And you know victory is here. Either way, I see you moving quickly forward. Okay? With the chariot. Yeah. Because there's a love offer that's coming in. Ace of Cups. This could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this is a new beginning. And this is a faded event that's coming into your life, Gemini. Wow. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. Please clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Tower. Tower twice. You called in the universe. The universe is bringing in your soulmate. Bringing in love. 
This could be an ex. I see eight of cups. And this is someone that you manifested, that you called in, and the universe is coming in. A huge awakening this is bringing in. But it's someone with water in their chart. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And they're coming back now. They're offering you... They're, they're, they're offering you love here. This is Ace of Cups, a new beginning they want. Yeah. This is the King of Swords. Clarifying the Page of Cups. Could have air in their chart here. With the strength card, having to use compassion and empathy on this person, King of Swords energy, they've been waiting to offer you this, and there's a need for inner wisdom here, a need for inner compassion. This King wants to communicate with you, he's thinking very logically. He has a lot to tell you. He wants to tell you. There's a lot of, of communication here. Tell me. Wow, now I have a King of Pentacles and an Ace of Wands. Now you're moving towards, like I said, that, that energy of the movie star energy, the power couple, King and Queen. Yep. Someone you're very passionate about. So now I have two kings, options, possible options here. And they're either moving towards you or you're moving towards them, but they're bringing in the sunshine, my loves. The sun twice. So excited. I'm so happy for you, Gemini's. They're bringing in a positive vibration here. Yes, this king of pentacles. Tell us about the death card. They're offering you long-term stability here. Trust your intuition, trust your vibration. Magician. Now the magician card is, it's Gemini or Virgo. They say, some say Aries, okay? But now you have all of the tools within you, Gemini. For this transformation you manifested this you wanted this and we need to go through the death and rebirth process because whatever you were before we with the two towers had to go down because sometimes the structures that we build are built on fear doubt not anymore you bring in the sun energy by you transforming it's a lot of fiery energy. No, it's not easy to grow. It does come with some pain involved. But you want a new beginning now. You want a new rebirth here. You're sick of the old. You want the new. You want this. Yeah, page of wands. Someone's going to reach out to you that's very excited. Yeah, it could be from a past person. Someone you know from your childhood. Or this could be an X. Tell us more about the sun card. Tell us more about the sun. Magnetic. Magnetic energy. Positive. Wherever you are feeling regret, no longer the sun is shining on this. Queen of Pentacles. It brings you stability. It brings you success, working on your finances, taking care of yourself, knowing your self-worth, doing the I am worthy to receive affirmation, knowing your birthright is abundance. Yes, and by all means, set healthy boundaries against others that may be around you with the five, with the seven of wands. Wow. You finished a huge cycle in your life let's call upon the angels from dorian virtue for clarifiers advice so you have options definitely gemini 
And to get the answer that you need is to go within. Where are you, your true self? Who lifts you up? Who vibes at the level that you're at now? Because you're not the old Gemini. You're the new Gemini that's coming to understand your, your inner child. Your inner child protected you through this breakup. Our inner child here, the sun card, inner child here has always, and that's why we do that, Gemini. That's the twins. One twin is always protecting the inner child. A happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in new positive energy. Yes. Gemini, whatever you're doing, a new move is definitely happening. A whole new you, okay? You thinking mentally clear, being aligned with the ethers here. You trusting your intuition. The sun is shining on you. In a business, yes, positive is coming to that. Positive success. Let's get another card. A happy new move with the Six of Swords relocating. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. Take me back and let me refer that song again. Kenny Loggins featuring Patty Austin, Pure Imagination. It's a must. Come with me. Yeah. God's blessings and God's speed to you, Gemini. I just wanted to share this. So this is for mid-August. If this resonated with you, please hit a like and I and support the channel by subscribing by all means. It helps the channel grow. If it didn't resonate with you, please leave what needs to be left here and to the universe and take what's what what resonated with you. Uh, we have Black Obsidian on right now, and Black Obsidian is the crystal that is called for right now. Look up Black Obsidian, and it's a protection. So I just want to send all my love. I love you, Geminis, all my baby gems out there. You're a diamond. Bye.